Now we can either do the head or we can do the hands. Uh, the head would be easy, the hands would be really hard. Uh, I'm going to try and keep it to a simple hand, where as you can see, every single one of his fingers here, five fingers, um, we might do something a little less than that, hard to say. To grab these faces here, go back to my one view, and extrude them out to about here. Maybe scale them along the shift y axis, which means all but the y axis, so it didn't make it any larger this direction. And then I'm actually going to scale along the y axis down, put in the front view. See, maybe I can add a loop here, bring it to about here, and scale that down. Oh, that didn't loop all the way around. No, I'm not going to do that. It makes things too complicated. And so now we want to add one more here on the hand. Scale along the shift Y. Move that like that. Now I'll do just about the same effect I was about to try and go for. And then it is time to make some fingers. Uh, rather than making edge loops through here for the fingers, which makes uh, too much geometry in this area which is uh, technically what you should do, uh, except for the too much geometry part. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these four faces. Since this is a simple character, I'm going to hit W and then subdivide. Maybe that was too much. So you can either do that if you want too many faces to work with, or I'm going to hit K and just put one through here like this. And then one through here like this. So now you have one, two, three, four. Take these vertices and then bring them back with a GG. Kind of make a uh, palm or like pad under your fingers where the bottom of the uh, knuckle is. I grab these. Okay, we well, got to grab these one at a time or uh, two at a time if you want. Go to my front view. And his hands are back in this picture. They are in sort of a fingertips back, thumb out sort of thing. That doesn't make any sense. Maybe it does. But anyway, they're back, so we want to go a little bit further than that. Extrude these out to about here. And then add... You can choose between one or two edge loops. I'm just going to do one. It depends on uh, how much of the hands you want to actually animate afterwards. It's a simple character, so I'm not going to worry too much about each individual knuckle. I'm going to bring these out. Bring this one out a little bit more since it's the middle finger. Uh, do an edge loop here. An edge loop here. Don't do an edge loop there yet. So Control Z if you did it with me. And I'll grab this face. I'm going to GG to bring it down like this and then do an edge loop. And now we have the fingers, although the thumb is always the most difficult part. I'm going to grab, let's say, these two here. Let's see if I can do this. I'm going to extrude it up a bit. And go to my vertex select mode. Actually, these are sticking out a lot. Grab these and move them in a lot. And grab this middle one and move that in. Wow, that is really sticking out. Move those way far in. So like here. Grab these. Bring that back like that. There we go, that's looking better. So back to the thumb here, I'm going to grab this one and then this one on the arm, and then hit Alt-M, and let's see, and then put at last because the one on the arm is the last vertice I selected, the same right here, Alt-M, at last, and then I'm going to bring these two 
So you bring them into about here. Grab these two up here. Bring them. Nah. nah. Leave that about right there. And then grab this one here. And extrude this out. Scale it down a bit along the shift Y probably. Pull this out here, rotate it. And so now you have this uh, little thumb thing. How's it looking? Let's see, do we need to bevel something on the back? Or not bevel. Um, just smooth things out. Maybe I can grab a couple of these vertices back here. And just pull them out a bit. Especially this one in the buttocks area. The gluteus maximus. Save again. And I think we're getting close to being done here.